Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Bold and beautiful preview. Steffi makes a huge business move, and Poppy and Bill share a lovely moment. Poppy and Luna have gone through a rough couple of months, with Luna taking her mother's magic mints, and ending up sleeping with Zend who she thought was RJ at the time. Then when RJ found out, he distanced himself from Luna while he tried to sort out his feelings. To make a complicated situation worse, Luna had a pregnancy scare. As if things haven't been crazy enough, coming up next week Poppy and Bill kiss. Poppy then tells Bill, I've loved you from the moment I first saw you. Bill says, let's do it now. Poppy laughs. Is this a recent attraction, or is this confirmation of the theory that Bill may be Luna's father? Deacon and Shyla planned to tie the knot and Deacon wanted Hope and Finn to be the maid of honor and best man. Shyla told Deacon that they had a better shot at seeing pigs fly. Meanwhile, Steffi railed to Liam that Hope needed to stay away from Finn and stop influencing him when it came to Deacon and Shyla. Later, Hope revealed to everyone that Deacon and Shyla were to be married. Meanwhile, Finn visited Shyla, who asked him to be there for her on her special day. As the big day approached, Hope told her mom she would attend the wedding for her father's sake, while Steffi begged Finn to see that he couldn't go to the wedding. But when Shyla and Deacon said, I do, both Finn and Hope were there. Next week, at Forrester, Brooke says, Steffi, this has nothing to do with the company. Steffi replies, it's a business decision. Hope for the future needs to come to an end. Today, is Steffi shutting down Hope's line out of spite? In the bustling heart of Los Angeles, where dreams are woven into the fabric of everyday life, Steffi Forrester stood at the threshold of a new venture. Her dark hair cascaded over her shoulders as she surveyed the sleek, modern office space that would soon bear the mark of her ambition. For years, she had been the face of Forrester Creations, a titan in the fashion industry. Now, with determination etched into every line of her face, she was ready to make her mark beyond the world of haute couture. Steffi's mind raced with visions of innovation and strategy. She had always possessed a keen eye for trends and an instinct for what the market desired. This new venture, however, was more than just a business move. It was a statement of independence and a challenge to herself to conquer new heights. Meanwhile, across town, in a quaint cafe adorned with twinkling fairy lights, Poppy and Bill found themselves immersed in a rare moment of tranquility. Poppy's laughter filled the air, a melody that resonated deep within Bill's heart. He had always been the rugged, enigmatic tycoon, eyed by his towering presence and sharp business acumen. Yet in the presence of Poppy, he discovered a gentleness he never knew existed. Their relationship had blossomed unexpectedly, like a delicate flower in the cracks of a bustling city sidewalk. Bill, known for his stoic demeanor, found himself opening up in ways he had never imagined. Poppy, with her easy smile and infectious warmth, brought a sense of peace into his chaotic world. As they sat across from each other, sipping their steaming cups of coffee, they savored the simple joy of each other's company. Back at Forrester Creations, Steffi stood before a gathering of executives and investors, her voice steady and commanding. She outlined her vision with clarity and passion, weaving together ideas that sparkled like the sequins on a designer gown. The room buzzed with anticipation as she unveiled her plans to launch a revolutionary line that would redefine luxury in the digital age. Steffi's determination was palpable, a force that drew everyone into her orbit. She spoke of embracing technology without compromising craftsmanship, of pushing boundaries while staying true to the essence of Forrester creations. Her words resonated with conviction, leaving no doubt in anyone's mind that she was destined to leave an indelible mark on the industry. Across the city, as twilight painted the skyline in hues of purple and gold, Poppy and Bill strolled along the waterfront. The air was crisp with the promise of a new season, mirroring the freshness of their budding relationship. Bill, usually a man of few words, found himself sharing childhood memories and dreams he had long kept hidden. Poppy listened with rapt attention, her eyes sparkling with empathy and understanding. 
She saw beyond the formidable exterior that the world knew as Bill Spencer, she saw a man with a tender heart and unspoken desires, and in that quiet moment by the water's edge, they forged a connection that transcended the boundaries of their respective worlds. Back at Forrester Creations, Steffi poured over sketches and fabric samples late into the night. The hum of the city outside faded into the background as she immersed herself in the creative process. This new venture was a risk, she knew, but it was a risk worth taking. She envisioned a future where innovation and tradition coalesced into something extraordinary, a legacy that would endure for generations to come. As dawn broke over the horizon, casting a golden glow over the city, Steffi finalized the details of her business plan. She was ready to embark on this new chapter with unwavering determination and a relentless pursuit of excellence. For her, success was not just about profits or accolades, it was about pushing the boundaries of what was possible and inspiring others to do the same. Meanwhile, in a sunlit corner of the city, Poppy and Bill shared a quiet breakfast together. Their laughter mingled with the soft strains of jazz music playing in the background, creating a symphony of happiness. Bill looked at Poppy with a tenderness that spoke volumes, his heart overflowing with a newfound sense of contentment. Their journey together was just beginning, filled with promise and possibility. As they'd held hands across the table, they knew that they had found something rare and precious in each other's embrace. Love, like a delicate thread, weaved its way through the tapestry of their lives, binding them together in ways they could never have imagined. And so, as the city awakened to a new day, Steffi Forrester and Poppy and Bill Spencer stood on the precipice of their respective futures. Each faced with challenges and opportunities, they were united by a common thread of courage and determination. In the world of bold and beautiful, where passions collide and dreams take flight. In the bustling heart of Los Angeles, where the sun-kissed streets echoed with the whispers of ambition and desire, a new chapter was about to unfold in the lives of its glamorous inhabitants. For decades, the city had been a playground for the bold and beautiful, a canvas upon which dreams were painted in hues of passion and determination. And amidst this whirlwind of ambition, love, and betrayal, there were few who stood as tall and resolute as Steffi Forrester. Steffi Forrester, the epitome of strength and sophistication, had always been a force to be reckoned with. As the CEO of Forrester Creations, she wielded power with grace, her sharp mind and unwavering determination propelling the fashion empire to new heights. But today, as the morning sun bathed her office in a golden glow, there was an air of anticipation, a sense of something extraordinary on the horizon. With a flick of her long chestnut locks, Steffi settled into her chair, her piercing gaze fixed on the city skyline that sprawled beyond her window. Today was no ordinary day. Today she would make a move that would send shockwaves through the industry, solidifying her legacy as a titan of fashion. Meanwhile, in a quaint café tucked away in a corner of the city, two souls found solace in each other's company. Poppy Jones, with her radiant smile and infectious laughter, had always been a ray of sunshine in Bill Spencer's tumultuous world, and as they sat across from each other, the world around them seemed to fade into insignificance, leaving only the warmth of their connection. Bill Spencer, a man accustomed to the cutthroat world of business, had found himself captivated by Poppy's gentle spirit. In her presence, he discovered a side of himself that he had long forgotten, a side fueled not by ambition, but by the simple joys of life. As they sipped their coffee, their conversation danced effortlessly from one topic to the next, each word a melody that resonated deep within their hearts. In that moment, surrounded by the comforting aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the soft hum of conversation, they were simply two souls intertwined in the tapestry of fate.